Hey everyone, this is Disney Fan Fred. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Carnival Magic. Uh, the Carnival Magic was her maiden voyage was May 1st, 2011. Uh, she's 130 gross tons. She has 14 decks. Um, and she has a capacity of 3,675 passengers, along with 1,380 crew. Uh, we took this cruise back in August of 2017. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. This is the magic leaving out of Port Canaveral. We're going down uh, the canal out towards the ocean. Uh, right there you see SpaceX. That's the SpaceX landing barge. That's the barge they use when they, uh, the rockets come back to Earth. Um, it, it's, it's, it's phenomenal uh, to see. You can see some of these videos on YouTube on how they actually perfected it where after they launched the rocket they actually uh, use GPS system and have the rocket land on the uh, on the barge there. There you can see a closer look. Um, actually we was on our previous sailing we were uh, out of Port Canaveral. We actually seen the rocket uh, on, on the uh, the landing pad there when it came back in. Sorry about the camera work. Uh, I'm still trying to perfect that. Um, you know, this one is this this video is going to have a little bit of shaky uh, camera movements, and I do apologize. And there you see the United States Coast Guard escorting us out to the ocean. Uh, every cruise ship does have an escort by the United States Coast Guard or a poli the police uh, boats that follow us out. You can actually see someone manning the uh, machine gun out in the front there. Some more video of us uh, going out on the channel. There's that shaky camera work again, I'm sorry. Along with Disney videos, I'm going to have uh, some more cruises coming up and I'm going to put them on there. Uh, we do have a Carnival Splendor cruise coming up and uh, also we have the uh, Royal Caribbean Oasis of the Sea, actually leaving out of Port Canaveral also. always looking for suggestions of what you'd like to see on the cruise ships. So please comment below and let me know what you want to see or any any you know other requests.
could not help with it. This is where we had to uh, assemble for the muster drill. Uh, we were in the showroom. Um, everybody's required to go to the muster drill, even if you're a seasoned cruiser. If you don't come, they will we'll track you down and drag you there, kicking and screaming. We did have a good cruise director on this ship, though. Uh, he helped uh, make it a lot more interesting. This is the pool on the ship on deck 10. It's, it's crazy how small this pool was uh, for the size of the ship. Uh, this is actual, actual the Lido deck in the midship. There is also a, a, another pool, a smaller pool in the back of the ship, the aft of the ship. Um, and the, for the size, of, many of the people in the size of the ship, these, these pools are actually really small and tiny. Um, on some days of this cruise, it was like sardines in a can. You couldn't get any more in there. It's crazy. This is deck five. Um, we're going towards the front of the ship. Uh, deck five is uh, very, very large. Uh, it does go around the whole ship, uh, and there's uh, lounge chairs all over. Uh, again, it's a very windy day, and I uh, apologize for all the wind noise. Uh, no, I'm not three feet tall. <laughs> I'm actually in a scooter. Uh, I do have some leg issues, and it makes it hard for me to walk a lot. So, um, In a couple of seconds, you can see me. I'll uh, actually roll the camera over so you can see the front. There you go. That's the front of the ship. Uh, again, this is uh, the Carnival Magic is part of the dream class of ships. The uh, Carnival Dream, the Carnival Magic, and then you have the Carnival Breeze. They are all sister ships uh, and all similar. Now we're heading on to the other side of the ship. Uh, there you can see a beautiful uh, <laughs> a bench there with the Carnival Magic's name on it. And we're just going around to the other side right now. Okay, here you see we're going down the other side of the ship now, and you see all the, the uh, lounge chairs here. A lot of lounge chairs, a lot of people on the ship. Uh, the, the ship was actually at capacity that day. Heading out to the back of the ship now. Port 
outside. Some seating area for uh, to eat because you have guys, pig, and anchor. Pick an anchor. Place to wash your hands. There's the menu. First island we visited was Aruba. Uh, on Aruba, we uh, did a tour through the cruise ship uh, driving UTVs. You see it right there. It was a, it was a great time. Uh, a lot of the video is going to be shaky, and uh, I got a little dizzy. I hope you're not dizzy looking at it. Uh, here, we're driving uh, through one of the towns, getting to going to our destination off-road. If you get a chance anywhere, uh, they have a UTV uh, tour. I highly recommend it. It was it was a blast. This is the tour company that the uh, cruise line used. Um, all the equipment was in great shape. Nothing was really run down. Um, and the tour guides were fantastic. This is a little tour of deck four uh, on the Carnival Magic. To the left is the upper restaurant uh, on uh, midship. We're heading towards the photography area, which Carnival calls Pixels. What's great now that Carnival did is they added live music back to the ships. Before they had just DJs. Uh, it's good to see that Carnival listened to the passengers and added uh, 
live music back. And um, I had to say, all the live music uh, performers were really good. And of course, it's not a carnival cruise unless you have entertainment at dinner. Here's some of the food. Beef Wellington. Onion soup. And my favorite, escargot. This is the Santa Barbara Hotel and Golf Club on Carousel. Yeah, we're still in